is a disaster for filming. Did anyone see the footage of Craig trying to shoot that deer last night? <laughs> that's, that's what dropped the impression uh, to that scenario. We did not run. That's, no, that, that, that's from the Ranger. We got to get up on a knob so we can see the left a little bit. To put some miles on the boots is what we got to do. <laughs> oh, man. We spotted a couple bucks this morning, and one of them is the buck that we've been all over no matter what. He's a good buck, but he's always with a bigger buck, and this morning that's the same thing. Another big buck, big typical with the short backs. Um, but the problem is there's no wind. I mean, no wind, and now it's doing nothing. I mean, it was blowing southwest. Now it's just sitting there, so can't be stalking in this stuff anyway. So we either gotta wait for the wind to pick up or just throw in the towel, just quit. <laughs> it should pick up though, we got a storm moving in. Front moving in. Here comes Mr. Poop, here comes Mr. Toilet paper. Here comes Mr. Poopy Pants. <laughs> Poopy Pants. <laughs> Could you hear it from there? Yeah, we heard it. No. I'm kidding. Did you explode? <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my gosh. Did you check the back of your pants? It's gonna be a lucky coyote running right tonight. <laughs> Which way is the wind? Which, cold last night. Which way is the wind blowing, Buff? Nowhere. It's not blowing at all. <laughs> Seriously, how far could you hear me walking over there? All the way. No, not till you got right there. That green stuff on top of the hill. But we don't have big old mule deer ears either, so. Oh my gosh, I was trying to think of what made it burn so much. And <laughs> It was those onions and things that he cooked. Those were spicy. Jalapenos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He cooked the onions in jalapenos or something. Yeah. Oh. Hurts on the way out. <laughs> So it seems like, as it always happens with this hunt, you know, emotions are high and low, up and down. I mean, you get so close so many times and just everything has to work perfectly for a successful hunt to work out. And, you know, after several, several long days of stalking the hills, you know, it starts to wear on you and you start to wonder, you know, is it ever gonna come together? And really at this point in time, I'm starting to question, you know, whether holding out for this particular buck is worth it.
and you took oh the bike. Oh my god. You freaking drilled it. What a giant. Finally. Dude, I thought we screwed it up. No, no. He heard us, it was too quiet. There's no wind at all. Oh, he stopped right on the hill. I can't believe it, dude. Oh my god. He's just double one boy. <sighs> He's a giant. Gosh, man. I don't know how you can beat this adrenaline rush. <laughs> that deer is a monster. That's the one we've been looking for. We haven't found him at all. He done, I mean, he's dead already. I mean, Here, he did. That was double lungs. <sighs> it was. Man, did you see? Right behind the shoulder. No. Oh, I cannot believe it, dude. Poetic justice, Jeremy. Blood. Blood, Blood everywhere. Look at the lead. Oh my gosh, look at the sunflowers. <laughs> look at it. I mean, look at the blood. It's all over these sunflowers. It's everywhere. I bet he's laying just right over here. I bet he didn't go very far at all. It's seriously everywhere. Dun, 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 dun. Right there. <gasps> he's right there. <laughs> oh, he was a giant. You didn't believe Look at those beams. I told you. I told you he was a giant. <laughs> Look at this thing. I told you. <laughs> That's insane. Look at that. It's like, like a 90 degree angle. Dude. Hey, Jeremy, he's massive. You're right. <laughs> this deer is so big on, on the reconics camera we got down there. He just doesn't look real heavy, but his bases are huge. Just because his frame is so big. And it's... Oh, man. We were getting seriously down to the wire. Sean only had a couple days left, max. And we've been hunting hunting and hunting and passed up some really nice bucks. I mean, I could have killed this mid 50s buck several times and uh, was holding out for a big one this year. And I was starting to wonder if it was gonna come together. We were like, maybe we should shoot that mid 50s buck if he gives us an opportunity. And the buck we were after, we find this morning.